We're back on Get Up, and we have this breaking news into our newsroom, and it is sad news indeed. I am sorry to report that Marty Schottenheimer has died at the age of 77, a legendary longtime National Football League coach who won 200 games during his career as the head coach in many different places. He had been diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in the year 2014. His family announced last week that he had been moved into hospice care. And again, the news that he has passed away peacefully surrounded by his family yesterday. I have a lengthy list of his career bio here that I can read pieces of to you. He played six seasons as a linebacker in the American Football League for Buffalo and Boston. He became the Browns head coach midway through the 1984 season. He was there for uh, several years. He recorded three 10 win seasons there. He went to Kansas City. He was the head coach there for 10 seasons, won 101 games, coached the Washington uh, football team in 2001, and then spent several years in San Diego, where he was named the AP NFL head coach of the year in 2004. Again, he coached 21 seasons in the NFL and won 200 games. But the the story of a man's life should not be told exclusively in the things that he did at work. I got to know Marty Schottenheimer when he worked here at ESPN for a brief time before he went to Washington. He was a gentleman. He was a family man. His son, Brian, has been a football coach for a very long time. He was surrounded by his loving family, and he was one of the kindest and most interesting and hardest working people that you could ever meet. I recall when he would come and work in the morning, he would bring a, a blank legal pad and at our morning meeting. And by the end of the day, that thing was filled up with notes of things that he had observed and things that he wanted to teach. And nobody loved football and no one was more interesting to talk about it with than Marty Schottenheimer, again, whom we have lost today at the age of 77. I want to bring um, Jeff and uh, Marcus in here. Jeff, just a thought, if you will. Marty Schottenheimer, again, uh, dies yesterday in Charlotte at the age of 77. Yeah, you said it so well. Just, just a true gentleman, uh, a great competitor. He coached like he played, hard nose. You heard about, <clears throat> uh, excuse me, you heard about Marty Ball. You know, he wanted to be physical, play tough in the trenches. And, you know, every time you went to go play against his opponents, you knew they were going to be well coached, uh, but they were going to be classy. And, and I have so much respect for what you said about being a family man, a, a, a true teacher of our game, which we need so much of, and uh, not only a teacher of football, but a teacher uh, of how to handle yourself outside in the community. And, and he served us so well. He, he's uh, he's going to be missed for sure. Marcus, you have a thought, Marty Schottenheimer? Yeah, it's amazing, G. Um, I actually had a chance to sit with Coach Schottenheimer for an hour, hour and a half and break down film on my draft visit to San Diego when he was the head coach with the Chargers in 2005. And that was when they were transitioning to the 3-4 along with the Dallas Cowboys. And myself and DeMarcus Ware were two prospects that they were looking at along with Sean Merriman and Luis Castillo, who they ended up drafting both of those guys. And Coach Schottenheimer, just in that meeting, he pulled up some plays. Um, specifically, I remember one from the Arkansas game when I was at LSU and I ran down the running back like 30, 40 yards downfield. He was like, is this the guy that I'm going to get in San Diego? I said, Coach, turn on the film from all the games. You'll see the same guy. And he said, I know. That's why you're on a visit. Um, he said, good luck to you in the draft. So I'm leaving there thinking I'm going to San Diego. It's final. Coach Schottenheimer told me he'd come and get me. So they ended up drafting Sean Merriman and Luis Castillo. And the Cowboys with Bill Parcells drafted DeMarcus Ware at 11 and me at 20. So I see Coach Schottenheimer the following year when we play the San Diego Chargers. And I asked him, I said, Coach, how do you think that uh, draft worked out with your two, three, four guys versus uh, me and D. Ware? He said, well, I sure love to have that big butt on my defense defensive line stopping the run like you've been doing in Dallas. So, man, he, he was just a good guy, man. You understood that he cared about football, and every player that played for him uh, loved playing for him. Told me he was tough, hard-nosed, but they expected to win when Coach Schottenheimer was on the sidelines. So, just uh, just feel grateful to have, have had some time with him um, throughout my draft process. His, his career will be remembered a lot for some very heartbreaking losses. He was the coach in Cleveland for their yeah. legendary losses in the late 80s, the drive and the fumble, and then some uh, very difficult losses, home playoff losses in Kansas City and then in San Diego. But uh, he was a man who was not defined by winning or losing in football games. He was a really genuinely good man who was loved by the entire football community. So, again, the sad news today at the age of 77, Marty Schottenheimer has died. We will have more coverage of this, of course.